Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Edge has received an update, and the update rolled out late last week in my part of the world on Friday the 25th. And the latest version in bold after this update has been applied is version 138.0.3351.109. So we're dealing with a point release, and that's been bumped up from 0.95. Now, first of all, there's quite a bit going on with this update. It's not just the security fixes, uh, the Chromium security fixes from last week. We have a couple of new features for Copilot 2. But first of all, just to start with the security fixes that have rolled out, um, in case you missed my videos for last week, there were three security fixes. They were all high severity. Thankfully, there were no zero days exploited in the wild or any critical vulnerabilities that had to be patched. And the three high severity security flaws that were patched for the Chromium open source project, which the browser is based on, were all type confusion in the V8 JavaScript engine. So three security fixes have rolled out in total. Now, something that Microsoft did not mention from the release notes for this latest point release update is that they have started the rollout of AI innovations now to the stable channel. And if we click on that, we get Copilot mode with Microsoft saying experience the future of AI browsing with Copilot mode in Microsoft Edge. And if you click on the link at this stage, it's not a working feature like it is in preview in Edge Canary as an example. It's just a link you click on and it takes you online where you can learn more about Copilot in Edge. So this is the beginnings of Copilot mode. Now, just to show you what I'm talking about, because I have posted a lot of content on Copilot mode. So if you want more info, just do a search accordingly on the channel. If we head over to Edge Canary and we just head into our settings quickly, AI innovations, yeah, you can see Copilot mode, which actually works. Not available as a working feature as yet in the stable version. Well, not in my area or my region um, currently. So when you toggle on Copilot mode and you open up a new tab, we can see it takes you straight to Copilot. And that's more or less what this feature is going to be all about. Do a search on the channel. As mentioned, I have posted quite a lot of content on Copilot mode in Edge. So the beginnings of Copilot mode, although not working, have started to roll out in the stable version. Now, while we are talking about Copilot, the next little new tweak and adjustment is also for Copilot. And what it is all about is that Microsoft Edge is now rolling out a new Control and F found on page Copilot feature, where you can now ask Copilot to look for the term on the page. So as an example, if we head to our main menu, you can also use Control and F, but found on page. You can see if I've entered M as an example, it says, what does this page say about M? And I'm only seeing this change though in the stable version after this update on my Windows 10 device in Microsoft Edge and not my Windows 11 device. So it seems that this could be on a controlled rollout. And we click on that, takes us over to the side panel. And at this stage though, I have been getting the same message um, before posting this video, testing this feature out. It says I wasn't able to access this page content because it was filtered due to sensitive material. So this seems to be a bug at this stage because there is no sensitive material on this page. It's a settings page for Microsoft Edge. So it seems that Copilot is a little bit confused. Maybe Microsoft is A-B testing that and maybe it's not you know, fully functional yet. But nonetheless, just bringing it to your attention that that is available now for find on page. So lots of Copilot starting to make its way into the browser. As I've posted before it seems that Microsoft is trying to push as much Copilot into their products and services as possible. So quite a lot going on with this latest point release. Three security fixes and those two new Copilot add-ons and features that Microsoft now has rolled out with this latest point release. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.